Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My hair is a disaster. I just don't get it fixed often. It just decides to do its own thing and I cannot control it. So here we are. I have this band here of yellow, white, beautiful hair, which I'm completely happy with. And then the roots, which let's just not talk about the roots. Oh my God. It's 2018 still. Obviously, it's coming up to Australia Day and I'm so bloody excited! Honestly, every single Australia Day that I ever celebrate, I aim to forget about it. One of the best things about Australia Day is the fact that you can go all out with your makeup, glitter, bang, sparkle, red and blue makeup. Like, this is just the perfect time to get experimentative and not give a shit when anybody cares about you. I mean, you're gonna have alcohol in your system, so you're not really gonna care anyway. Just before I get started, I wanna say one last thing if you have watched any of my gone girl episodes me and beck have now made a separate youtube account so all of the videos will be transferred onto that account and if you guys want to go and subscribe to that channel to see some stupid things very stupid and go ahead and subscribe to gone girls i will put the link down below in this video here is my australia day inspired look and hope you guys like it let's get into it right so let me just get my life together real quick. Australia Day, we want to glow to God. We want God to see how good we are being. I'm going to be taking a mixture of the Master Strobing Cream and the Revlon Photo Finish Primer. So let's just, I guess, this stuff is intense as well. I used it in my first impressions and I swear to you, I was glowing. <laughs> So what's everybody planning on drinking on Australia Day? I honestly can only think of vodka. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to be using the NYX Tame Frame Eyebrow Tinted Pomade. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera because you've seen it a billion times and I'll be right back. Yo, so I'm back. I've put some tape there. I've primed my eyes and I'm ready to move on to my eye makeup. And we're doing eyes today, obviously, because it's going to be intense and it's going to fall everywhere. First things first, I'm going to be taking Huda Beauty to the Dusk Palette. I'm dipping into Amber and running that through my crease as a transition. And I'm bringing that transition super duper high up into my just above my crease as well. I'm going straight in with Oud or Oud or Pood or whatever freaking heck you want to call it. And putting that in the outermost portion of my crease. Grabbing Amber again and blending those two together. So now you have these two colors super duper blown out and super diffused. We're going to go ahead and take the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Palette. Putting into Black Truffle and starting to also bring that through even lower. This is what the eye makeup should look like so far. Super smoky, super blendy. I'm going to cut out the entire crease now with some Tarte Shape Tape. And what you're going to want to do if you're not sure where your crease is, is you go like this, look down, look up, and you can see it smudges. You just go a tiny bit above that so then you can see it when your eyes are open. It doesn't have to be perfect either because we're going to be going straight in soon with some glitter. It's basically going to cover the whole crease anyway. Just to quickly set that with a little bit of translucent powder so it doesn't smudge everywhere. I am going in with these two shades from Eye Candy, a red shade and a blue shade. They are super duper festival, super duper Australia. So everywhere where you just cut that crease, you're going to want to take some eyelash glue and basically coat your lid in that. And the reason, you didn't really need to cut the crease beforehand, but the reasoning I did it is just so I can get a rough guideline and not like stuff up. So now I'm just going to grab a super duper fluffy brush and brush away all of that excess glitter that has just dropped everywhere. So next up I'm just going to quickly do some black eyeliner to sort of blend these two together. This is the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. All right, so I'm just going to peel off this tape now. Oh, we have a bit of a leakage, leakage. Beautiful, I love that. 
Now, obviously, for the face, you're going to want something full coverage. I'm going with a mixture of the Marc Jacobs and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs for coverage because this shit is crazy. And this just to sort of thin it out a little bit. I'm just going to blend those together using this flat top brush because my paddle, paddle brush is missing somehow. I always, when I'm mixing foundations, I always like to go in with a brush first because I feel like I can mix them before going in with the sponge. Sometimes it sort of looks like patchy coloured if I go straight in with the sponge. With the sponge to pick up any excess product before it dries down. So from here I'm going to conceal and I'm using the Colourpop and Sharp Tape 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 the Tarte Shape Tape and Colourpop together because this one is super hydrating this one is super drying but coverage so put two and two together it's good now just blending that out Colourpop one does oxidize but when you blend it in it doesn't it's real confusing but that's the only way I know how to explain it just gonna quickly set under my eyes with the RCMA translucent powder so now I'm just gonna quickly set the rest of my face with this nude by nature powder it is a bit darker because I feel like I'm looking a bit yellow so now I'm just going to quickly contour with the Bahama Mama powder actually I'm gonna bronze with that powder and I'm just gonna use a super duper big bronzing brush I'm now going in with this shade from Clen color uh, it is called tanned raw matte bronzer and honestly it is super cool and I love to use it for contouring and I'm gonna use this little sort of like pinched and while I'm at it with my face I'm going to go in with some beauty blush because that's the only one I bloody use I'm just gonna wipe away that bake from under my eyes now so I can move on to there so basically I'm going to also be putting glitter under my eyes so it matches the top so first things first I'm going in with amber and running that under my eye and I'm going with old now I'm going back in with some of that lash glue and placing it underneath my eyelashes just all along there. I'm going to do one side at a time and then while I'm looking up I'm going to grab my red glitter and grab the blue and pat that in there. I'm now going in with some, some black waterline eyeliner. Now of course we're going to go in with some highlighter. A mixture of the gold and white shade here from the Kali Bible palette and placing that everywhere. Maybe a little less on the nose. Oh god. I'm now going in with the lipstick shade Mannequin because there's a lot going on with the eyes and we need to take a step back. Two more things to go now. I'm quickly now going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara. I hope this video hasn't been too long. I'm super excited to put lashes on because that makes everything look so much better. While I'm waiting for the eyelash glue to dry, I'm going to go in with some NYX Liquid White Eyeliner and draw some little stars under my right hand eye to replica the Southern Cross. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. Good eye, am I? Yeah, so this is the finished look. It is super bold on the eyes, super subtle on the lips, and I am obsessed. This is probably what I will be wearing on Australia Day because, you know, it's got the little stars, so it's still a bit of creativeness, and it's got the super duper glitter. Makes me look super smoky, which I like. If anybody else has any Australia Day makeup tutorials, comment them down below so I can watch them. I love watching Australia Day makeup tutorials. Don't forget to go and subscribe to the new Gonk Girls channel. The link will also be down below, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it means the world to me, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're a returning subscriber, you know how it is. Hey, long story short, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for staying till the end if you did and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!